then we want to add a skeleton. So we come over to our main model tab, we click on joint, and we want the center of gravity, which is equivalent to the hips. I have no idea where the hips of a caterpillar would be. Wow. Um, hmm. Put it in the middle, right there on that blue line. That looks good. Oh, look what we have there. So if I look in this front view, I see a caterpillar that is not centered on his axis. Let's do that now before we get him all rigged up and discover it's wrong. Okay, we want it centered everywhere on this axis. He should be a pretty little guy. He's pretty small on that there, so that should be okay. Of course, we can export him at a giant size and then he'll be big enough to ride, right? Okay, so now we have our joint one. And we'll put center of gravity. Could just be joint one if you want it to, but this helps us know where we are and where we're starting. And model. Okay, we need to select this joint. Okay, so we click on joint again. If you have to have it selected so that it, it will connect to the previous joint. The way you make an unconnected node is by unselecting the joints. It will always attach to the one you have selected. So here we go. We're going to go up the front and connect there. And there. And there. And there. And then we're going to select this joint again. And we're going to go back the other way. Click on joint. And there. And there and there, and there. And now we have our funny little caterpillar who's got a skeleton. Now we should go through and rename these. So you'll see that when I select it by double clicking in this menu, it will highlight the one that I double click on. And these probably will have all different names, but we'll call this one head Rename. We'll call this one tail. Rename. Now, before I spend the time, uh, all these can just be renamed to other things, just so you know what they are. Um, next, I want to demonstrate how to create uh, the other nodes that are important. Now, if I want to cheat, on the rigging, and I kind of do, um, I can go over here to tools, and I can use a joint tool to let me assign unassigned vertices to the nearest joint. I can do this by clicking OK. And now then, if I come down here to our animation button, I can move the skeleton around. So I want to select joint, and I can select it here, and you'll s should see, yes, the mesh moves now, and I can rotate it like this. So now my mesh is all rigged. Nice, handy-dandy cheat button. Cheat button doesn't always work, however. Um, one key. Uh, this is extremely very important. You must remember this. If you ever forget, you will have to re-rig and reanimate your entire model from the start all over again. I learned this the hard way. I have made the mistake more than once and I hate it when I have to redo my model. You want to exit animation mode by clicking Anim before you save. If you were in animation mode when you save, it may potentially mess up 
all of your rigging and all of your model, your animation, and you have to start over. And it's not very fun when you have to start over, um, especially when you've like, oh, that was so cool! I finally got it right, you know, and then it's all messed up. It's not very happy at all. So what you want to do here then is now we can save as, and we got our little guy. He's rigged, and I like to say what happened here. And uh, so, so I'm gonna put rigged. And now I know which version of this model is, and if I decide, oh no, that rigging is bad, I can go back and fix it. <laughs>